Alright, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahawa, Bashem, Yashai, Bashem, Rakar, Kodash. The bonus to the elders and apostles of Graham Stone and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahaya from the James Kingston Jamaica camp. Here again with another lesson, and this one is entitled Questions for the NFAC, which stands for the, the No Effing Around Coalition, which is edited by Grandmaster J. Right? Now, I've done a couple of videos on this before, and it's basically, basically um, getting a fight. Because my stance is that you cannot win a gunfight with the so-called white man. You can't win a gunfight with the oppressors. And I've been watching this um, video here from Dr. Umar Johnson. And he asks some very poignant questions that I would like to pose to the NFAC. Because this, this, this nigga, this agent, right, by the name of Grandmaster J, is leading the people him to death. Right, this man come out out of, out of nowhere with guns, stating that he want to go up against um, white militias and want and basically want to retaliate for deaths caused by white individuals. Right, you basically setting up the people um, to basically be put to death, man. That's what you're doing. So I want to pose these questions with you. See, to you, since you say that you want to go head to head with the so-called white man whose biblical name is Esau is a biblical Edomite the wicked that the, that, that, that the Bible talk about that is the so-called white man right his name is Esau from from Edom right now the people that I'm talking about in reference to um, the black nation quote-unquote black nation they are not black they are the biblical Israelites the biblical Hebrew Israelites which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Those people are the true biblical Israelites, and those people are the ones who are being oppressed um, right across the globe right now. Now, Grandmaster J states that we need to fight back. Now, this is a question. These questions that um, Umar Johnson has posed, I want Grandmaster J to answer these questions for me. And for all of those individuals who have a consciousness of warfare and what warfare is like, right? Here we go. David Banner got into it with Life Jennings because I guess David Banner feels we should retaliate with guns. Shout out to uh, Dave. That's my good brother. Okay, let me say this. And let me deal with what was said since I wasn't there when he said it. I am not a proponent mm -hmm. of armed physical struggle by black people against the United States power structure at this day and time. Why am I not? Because from a military science standpoint, and I study military history, the worst thing you can do, Envy, is go to war with your oppressor when you do not manufacture any food to sustain your troops. You don't produce any means of weapons. If we go out here and, and, and go into a war, where are you going to get your guns from? Where are you going to get your bullets from? How are you going to feed your family? All they have to do is cut off your supply line. No one has ever won a war without a guaranteed line of supplies and food and resources. We have none of that. We have no international allies. So people say, well, Cuba did it. Cuba stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with America, told JFK to go to hell, and Cuba still here. You know why? Because Cuba had a big international ally known as Russia that America did not want to go to war with. So because America respected the power of Russia, they had to leave Cuba alone. You feel me? Exactly, yo. So all of those questions that um, Dr. Umar Johnson does ask you, I want Grandmaster Jay to answer those questions because you're, you're fighting a futile battle and that's why the stance of the Hebrew Israelites of JMS is that we should wait up on the Heavenly Father until he raise up to the prey. Zephaniah 3 and 8, right? That is our stance. We stand that we should wait upon the Lord because that is where our power coming from. All other nations on the earth, them have freedom power structure, them have freedom defense. The Chinese have them defense. The Indians, them have them defense. The Arab nations, them have their defense. Right? The Israelites don't have any nation that backs them. Like how um, Russia backed Cuba. Right? And how Russia backed Syria and all of those other nations, man. We do not have a power structure that will defend us except within the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh. Right? Our power structure is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? Um, the, the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, man. That is our power structure. And that's why when we go to the scriptures, man, you see, the scriptures tell us what? Right? Um, Psalms 
37 verse 7 rest in the lord and wait patiently for him fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way because of the man who bring it wicked devices to pass right the so-called white man has been bringing wicked de devices to pass through his legislations to oppress our people to oppress the israelites men Zin, so we should not fret ourselves but what call upon the heavenly father Zin, that we, that's what we should do um psalms 37 verse verse 34 say wait on the lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off and shall see it right i have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree yet he passed it away and lo he was not yea i sought him but he could not be found right this is what we need to do man we need to wait on the defenses of the heavenly father man you're going about saying that you're gonna you're gonna stand toe to toe with so called you're crazy man you're crazy you lick your head yo right final precept proverbs 20 and 22 say not though i will recompense evil but wait on the lord and he shall save thee right you cannot take up weapon in your hands to fight against the oppressor you can't right the only route to 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 to, to win this this quote unquote war man is through the heavenly father himself if you go against the so-called white man you're gonna fail man the nfac is gonna fail just like all of those black organizations before me they have failed and you will also fail grandmaster jo right so with that, shalom.